Hello everyone, I hope you are well on this fine Thursday um, morning, but you're probably watching this in the evening because I wouldn't have uploaded it till uh, the evening. Well done Nick, good start but predictable. On these diary cam videos, I'll keep them as well as honest as possible. I wear my heart on my sleeve and quite often when I watch them back, I think Nick, you've told people a bit too much about your life, but that's the way I'll always be. It'll always be straightforward. What you see is what you get. And if you've been watching this channel for quite some time, hopefully that's the way uh, it comes across. There's nothing fake here. I'll say it as it happens. And um, I will talk about in these ones about things that happened in my life um, that set me off and all that sort of stuff. Because um, we talk about it quite a lot. Um, have suffered from stress quite a bit. Um, borderline bipolar perhaps. There's just small things sometimes people say to you which will hand you down for an energy crash and some things that will lift you really um, high up. Some things are quite surprising, take you a bit by left field and something like that happened to me quite recently which I'm still struggling to get my head round but I won't go through too much details about that, I'll just keep it suitably vague just in case that person um, was just having a bad day. You never know what's going on in people's lives do you? My whole uh, ethos, the reason by this ch behind this channel, and to help with my stress as well, which I've suffered for about 20 years, is all about peace, um, harmony, trying to make people feel good about themselves. Uh, and if I can make myself feel good at the same time, that's good, and lift other people. It's all about sharing experiences and making life, because life can be tough. It's about trying to make that a bit better, not worse. Praising people, it's all about small successes. And you know, so you know, as much as I can, I try and make people feel good about themselves. I never make them feel bad about themselves. I would rather drown at sea than make someone feel depressed. And as I say, I'd always go out of my way, especially in a, a video or a comment, if someone's feeling bad, to try and lift them up a bit. That's just what I'm about. I maybe care a bit too much and it takes up more of my time, but that's, you know, 100% me. To combat my stress, I do about 15 minutes, 20 minutes yoga each day. Sometimes some deep breathing if it gets on top of me and just take a bit of a, a time out to try and get things back into a perspective there. And I think a few people out there are the same um, also and I'm, I'm really pleased to know you and, and to talk to you. So thank you for sharing your experiences uh, as well. Um, I've very recently been accused, much to my dismay, uh, through Twitter of actually trying to cause damage um, to some people's channels and um, not caring about the retro community and that, that hurts me quite deeply and did put me in a bit of a, a depression but you learn, you get accused of all sorts of stuff um, by running the channel and as you grow but you have to learn what bits to ignore especially if you're extra um, sensitive there uh, but this one was from a subscriber that's been around for four years uh, and hopefully people get to know you by that point so it's really, really, really surprised me really I, I can't understand what's going on um, Essentially what had happened was there was a um, subscriber to my channel who had liked about, I don't know, a, a lot of videos, a lot of videos. Uh, also, he commented quite a lot as well. Uh, and I always responded to those comments quite quickly because I'm online a lot. And I thought he was an all-round good chap. He seemed quite pleasant. Um, unbeknown to myself, he was subscribing to thousands of other channels or hundreds of other channels and then unsubscribing. So subscribing and unsubscribing. Now, I'm not quite sure why someone would do that, it's quite weird behaviour um, but they, they were doing it, I've been told I've been sent a couple of screenshots when they did it um, once, which I, I trust the time dates on also as well, I've been told he was um, doing comments on those channels and then deleting them, so people were thinking that he commented, looking for a comment and they're, they're never going to find it now someone um, su subscribing and unsubscribing to a channel a lot is annoying but I've had so many things attempted on my channel it's not saying it's really on my radar. Um, I don't even get emails when someone's subscribed and unsubscribed, so I wouldn't even know about it. So it's not saying that would affect me or would annoy me in the slightest. Um, the sub count does go up and down uh, quite a bit, and I just I just put that down to normal wear and tear of uh, being on YouTube, really. Um, now, based on that information I've just given you, uh, the person that contacted me through Twitter concluded because I was the only one sort of like benefiting from this person's behaviour, i.e. He, he'd liked a lot of my videos and caused um, chaos potentially on a lot of uh, smaller channels than mine, well I presume they're smaller, I don't really know, uh, concluded that that was actually me using another account causing um, trouble. Now, that's absolutely preposterous. I mean, that's the worst detective work ever. Now, time-wise, I'm always a bit limited uh, to try and get the channel to grow 
because I put up so much content, as you might have noticed. So every hour of the day is pigeonholed into sort of like a, a rotor system. Um, I would, I can't even, though I'm defending this, I wouldn't have time to open a channel or more than one channel and subscribe to hundreds of people and unsubscribe. It just wouldn't make any sense for me to do so. Um, it wouldn't accomplish anything. It would alienate the retro gaming community. And, um, and when the channel eventually got um, banned, I think this one has, it would have the same IP address as any other accounts, which YouTube will see, and they would probably ban those as, as well. Um, that channel has been banned now. Um, we've got different IP addresses, so I'm still here. I mean, um, that, that channel was not me. Um, one of their other criticisms in their detective work, as well as that person had liked a load of my videos and um, called chaos on other ones, was they also, a bit of paranoia creeping in from them now, they also had a look at all the videos that I'd liked in the history, because that's there as well for anyone that wants to see it, and they uh, concluded again that um, I only like the big channels, um, like Boogie and stuff and people like that. Well, when I'm actually signed in, when I'm watching for a video to upload, to help ease my stress and to keep up to date with news stuff that's going on, I will look at the bigger channels. So, i.e. Boogie, um, he's gone through stress himself. I'm not sure if you're aware of that channel. He's in one of my featured lists. And um, I like the sound of his voice. He talks about things he's going through and that helps me as well. And the larger channels like IGN and so forth, which I do like some of theirs and other larger channels, is to keep up to date with retro news, gaming news, so I know what's going on. Despite my limited time, I do watch a hell of a load of other videos as well, most particularly from smaller re uh, retro gamers, including that chap that accused me uh, of all this. It's just that I'm not logged in, because when I'm logged in, I'm tending to do work and get in there. This is my break time, so I might look at stuff on my phone and so forth. So I look at a lot of stuff. There's a lot of great channels out there. Um, Bazar H is a very good one, an informative um, guy. Uh, there's Lawn Boys Post as well. Uh, Steve Benway, which I mentioned, there's loads and loads of channels and videos I watch, but the likelihood is I won't be watching any more of um, the videos from this person that's accused me of, of this sort of thing. When you subscribe to a channel on YouTube, it, it must be formerly, if that's a word, that you actually like the content. It's not that you're um, going to get anything back in, in response to that. Um, nothing's guaranteed. So if you like the content, subscribe. If you don't like it, move on. Um, I don't do sub for subs, but quite often if someone is commenting a lot, I will check out their channel because I'll spot where they are. And if I like their stuff, I subscribe as well. But, you know, just because um, you comment on someone's videos a lot doesn't necessarily mean they've now got to comment on all your videos. They haven't got the time to do that. And you can imagine once you got to 5,000 subs, if you had to comment and watch everyone else's videos, you'll never actually upload anything at all. Um, it's unreasonable to think that that would be the case. So that's not me for six a bit. But I've got to learn to ignore it, despite the length of time that person has been subscribed to the channel. It is absolutely stupid, and I think if they sat down long enough and analysed that, and knows everyone that knows me properly, I know it's hard on the internet, will know that's just not in me. I promote peace, I'm into yoga, I like Buddhism, although I've never said that a lot before. And I want to improve people's lives, I don't want to make things worse. I know how bad stress can be by small things, so there's no way on, on Earth or any other planet that I'd impose that on anyone else. So hopefully that's made that uh, a bit clear. Um, you know, you get a lot of paranoia on YouTube. As you know, you don't know what's going on in someone else's life to get to that point. So, um, yeah, people just look at a sliver of circumstantial evidence and that's enough for them to come to their conclusions. But, you know, I'm an innocent guy. Um, I hope every channel does well. And obviously I, I um, want my channel to be successful because that's the only reason why I make the videos, but I don't wish any harm or anything on anyone else. But I think most people know that already. So take it easy. We're getting nearer the weekend. Until next time, see you later. Ending.